When the last human dies, tech news will still be here. I don't know who will write it. Maybe dolphins would have evolved by then? The people behind USB and HDMI have really been screwing up their naming schemes, and it almost looked like the Wi-Fi Alliance would make the same mistake. Wi-Fi 6E? More like EU, you know? That's a, get, get. Well, thank goodness Intel and Broadcom have released a demo of good old single number style Wi-Fi 7, achieving a whopping five gigabits per second over the air without a single suffix or decimal to be found. What a missed opportunity to call <laughs> Wi-Fi 6E version two. <laughs> the demo shows a five gigahertz Wi-Fi 6 system topping out at one gigabit and six gigahertz Wi-Fi 6E hitting around two gigabits, making the five gigabit speed even more impressive particularly because despite Wi-Fi 6E being out for a while, it hasn't reached many corners of the market. For example, the new iPhone 14s don't even support it, yet they can talk to satellites. Explain that, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Mr. Scientist. <laughs> Wi-Fi 7 products won't be here until later next year, but it makes me feel better knowing they'll involve fewer numbers on the box. Google's unrelenting campaign to pressure Apple into supporting RCS chat on iPhones seems to be, unsurprisingly, ineffective Doing so far. Thing, yes, if a recent Tim Apple quote is anything to go by, asked by a reporter what can be done about the fact that videos he sends to his mom come out looking like found footage from a horror movie, Tim told him, buy your mom an iPhone. Classes. Nerd. I guess social media bullying can't fix everything. But even if the reporter did want to get his mom Apple's newest phone, he may find it difficult right now since Apple's website broke down yesterday trying to fulfill the flood of pre-orders from those taking Tim's advice. He also might find it a tad too expensive as well. Apple claimed they hadn't raised prices for the new lineup, but turns out that was only true for the US and China. Everywhere else, the iPhone 14s cost about the equivalent of an extra 100 euros or more. So I think it might be time for Mr. Apple to cool it with the mom jokes. Although he is right about the fact that you should buy your mom something nice. Remember her, huh? Yeah, pick up the phone. And over in GPU land, Intel has released more detailed specs of their Arc Gaming graphics cards via yet another video from the Blue Man Group farm team, Tom Peterson and Ryan Schrout. The dynamic blue out. <laughs> the new numbers have the internet buzzing, saying everything from wow to release the damn thing already. For products that supposedly launched many months ago, these cards are surprisingly not anywhere. NVIDIA provided even more reason for Team Blue to get their butts in gear with a mysterious teaser that was immediately deciphered, revealing a special broadcast called GeForce Beyond on September 20th. No doubt that will finally be when we get some concrete info about the RTX 40 series, so set your alarms for 8 a.m. Pacific time that day, or just wait until we summarize it the day after. You, you've been working hard, you know? Sleep in. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Manscaped and their ultra premium collection. The all-in-one skin and hair care kit for the everyday man and covers every body part. Your butt, your balls, your body. Other B words. Nope. Those are the three. That's right, the Ultra Premium Kit has shampoo, body wash, hydrating spray, and deodorant to make man maintenance easier than ever. Plus, these products are cruelty free, paraben free, and vegan. vegan. Because depending on animals, to make your hygiene products is not manly at all. So go to manscaped.com and use promo code TECH for 20% off your order, plus free international shipping. I'm gonna ask Linus if we can make quick bits for the LTD screwdriver. They're just circles. <laughs> Leaked Geekbench results showed Apple's new A16 Bionic chip actually getting a worse multi-core score than its predecessor, the A15 Bionic, leading many to speculate if this is the real reason they compared it to the A13 during the unveiling. But a second Geekbench result soon surfaced with a multi-core score that made a bit more sense. It just goes to show, beware of leaked benchmarks that may tempt you to question your faith in those who dwell in the infinite loop. Look neither to the right nor the left. Broad is the path that leads to Android, etc. You can keep going with this. AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution, or FSR, has reached version 2.1, bringing significant changes that should alleviate ghosting issues, improve color range, sharpness, and more. Hopefully, this brings Team Red's upscaling tech even closer to NVIDIA's DLSS, so we can run it on NVIDIA GPUs for more reasons than to satisfy some sick urge for juxtaposition. 
Green and red together? What does that make? You love juxtaposition. What does that even make though? Purple. YouTube has launched a new player for education in the US and Korea, which can be used by schools and educational content creators to play videos without showing any ads, links, or video recommendations. They're also rolling out the ability for creators to post quizzes, which will look like community post polls, but this time, there is a right answer. You did it wrong. And next year, creators will be able to offer paid courses. Maybe we'll do one on how to achieve just the right level of cringe or how to piss off your editor. Crystal Dynamics, the developer behind the recent AAA Tomb Raider trilogy, has announced they once again have the rights to make more Tomb Raider games. Now, I'm gonna be honest. At first, I thought this meant they had somehow taken back the rights from Embracer Group, the voracious IP holding group that bought them from Square Enix. But then I realized, no wait, Embracer Group also bought Crystal Dynamics, reversing this back into a story about franchise ownership being consolidated into a handful of giant corporations. And then when I realized that, then I wrote this story. I see. And then I wrote this one about AI company Runway teasing a feature for its web-based video editor that would allow you to edit video using written descriptions of what you want to do. The field of AI-generated imagery is expanding so rapidly, we're already talking about video and whether video editors are even sentient. That's lesson number one in the course. The AI video generating feature isn't available yet, but you can use written editing commands in Runway's early access testing. So here's your regular reminder that the AI will eventually come for us all. Be ready. Have your USB- Love you, Dennis. Have your heart and your USB port open. And the end has come for this episode, so come back on Monday for more tech news. Next week is gonna be juicy. I can feel it. Dolphins may be involved. Ah! They're already here.